The Mona Lisa is one of the most famous paintings in the world, but did you know that it has a mailbox? Yes, that's right, the Mona Lisa has a mailbox. This quirky fact is just one of many little known details about the iconic painting. The Mona Lisa is one of the most iconic and recognizable pieces of art in the world. It is a painting by the Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci and it hangs in the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. Although the painting is famous, there are some lesser known facts about the Mona Lisa that you may not be aware of. For example, did you know that the painting was not finished? Leonardo da Vinci, the artist who created the Mona Lisa, worked on it for years, but he never considered it complete. He kept it with him until his death, constantly. The painting is believed to be the only surviving work of art that was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. It is believed to be a self-portrait of da Vinci himself, although this has never been confirmed. The painting is believed to have been painted by Leonardo da Vinci in the early 16th century, and is one of the most studied works of art in history. Despite its fame, the Mona Lisa is actually quite small, measuring just 30 inches by 21 inches. Interestingly, the Mona Lisa is not painted on canvas. Instead, it is painted on a poplar wood panel, which is a type of wood that is often used for paneling and furniture. This makes the painting much more durable than if it had been painted on canvas. The wood panel is believed to be over 500 years old and it is still in excellent condition. The painting was painted with oil paints, which give it its characteristic sheen. Another interesting fact about the Mona Lisa is that it is the only painting in the Louvre to have its own security guard. Since the painting is so valuable, the museum has placed a guard in front of it at all times to protect it from theft or damage. The Mona Lisa is believed to be the most valuable painting in the world. It has been valued at over $780 million, making it the most expensive painting ever sold. Since being acquired by the Louvre, a French law has made the Mona Lisa priceless. That's right, the Mona Lisa is priceless. According to French law, Article L451.5, goods in a museum in France that belong to a public are also part of public domain, and, therefore, cannot be sold. The Mona Lisa was not always so highly regarded. In fact, it was stolen from the Louvre in 1911 and was missing for two years before being recovered. It was only after this theft and subsequent media attention that the painting became famous. In 1911, a man named Vincenzo Perugia attempted to steal the painting and succeeded in taking it out of the museum. However, he was quickly apprehended and the painting was returned to the Louvre. The Mona Lisa is believed to be the first portrait to be painted with a three-quarter view. This is a technique that was used by many other painters after Leonardo da Vinci. It has become a popular way to paint portraits, as it allows the artist to capture the subject from multiple angles. It is believed that the painting was actually commissioned by Francesco del Giocondo, a wealthy Florentine silk merchant, as a wedding gift for his wife, Lisa Gherardini. This has led many to believe that the painting is actually a portrait of Lisa. <laughs> Others have suggested that she may be a man in drag or even a self-portrait of Leonardo da Vinci himself. The painting was originally owned by King Francis I of France, who acquired it from Leonardo da Vinci in 1517. It was later sold to the King of Spain and then eventually ended up in the Louvre in 1815. The Mona Lisa's enigmatic, mysterious smile is another source of fascination. There are many theories about why the woman in the painting is smiling, but no one knows for sure. Some have suggested that it is a reflection of the artist's own inner turmoil, while others believe that it is a deliberate attempt to convey a sense of mystery and ambiguity. No matter what the reason is, the Mona Lisa's mysterious smile has made it one of the most recognizable works of art in the world. Finally, the mailbox is located in the Louvre Museum in Paris, France, where the Mona Lisa is housed. It was installed in the late 19th century after the painting was stolen in 1911. The mailbox was created to allow people to send letters, postcards, and other items to the painting. It has become a popular tourist attraction, with people sending letters of admiration and appreciation to the Mona Lisa. The mailbox is a replica of the actual painting, with a slot for letters to be placed in. It is a small, wooden box with a hinged lid that was originally used to collect letters addressed to the Mona Lisa. While the mailbox is not officially part of the museum, it has become a popular attraction for visitors. 
The museum staff would collect the letters and take them to the painting's curator, who would then respond to the letters. The mailbox is still in use today, although it's no longer used to collect letters addressed to the Mona Lisa. Instead, it's used to collect donations for the museum. In addition to its own mailbox, the Mona Lisa has also inspired countless parodies and imitations. From the famous, Mona Lisa with a mustache, to more recent memes featuring the painting, the Mona Lisa has become a cultural icon in its own right. It is a testament to the enduring popularity of this iconic painting. These are just a few of the little-known facts about the Mona Lisa. It is a painting that has captivated people for centuries and continues to be admired by art lovers around the world. Whether you're sending a letter to the painting's mailbox or simply admiring its beauty, the Mona Lisa is sure to leave you with a lasting impression. The Mona Lisa is a fascinating piece of art and its mailbox and other little-known facts make it even more interesting. Whether you're a fan of the painting or just curious about its history, the Mona Lisa is definitely worth learning more about.